morning. It is Tuesday. I seem to be starting these vlogs on a Tuesday, so we're gonna go with that. <laughs> um, yesterday I managed to get quite a bit of work done. I started to put together the little bits and pieces for the uh, April, <laughs> I was about to say March, the April Patreon boxes that I do. I also edited last week's vlog, well finished editing it, uploaded it to Patreon so I got that ready to post either tomorrow or Thursday. I think I'm going to try to do it tomorrow though. And then in the evening I had a bit of a U-turn. Um, it was obviously Easter Monday yesterday so chocolate was around. I had a Galaxy Easter egg which I left on my bed in its box last night when I went to get a shower and Bonnie decided to come up whilst I was in the shower and eat pretty much the entire easter egg. We had an emergency vet visit and she was given an injection to make her throw up. The vet said there was a lot of chocolate in there. It wasn't the worst chocolate, like it wasn't dark chocolate, but it wasn't good, like it wasn't white chocolate. It was milk chocolate and a lot of it. So that was terrifying. <laughs> you know, it's my fault for leaving the chocolate egg on my bed, even though I left it in the box. I shouldn't have underestimated my dog's opportunistic personality. But yeah, she's all good now. Well, she's feeling sorry for herself and not feeling tip top, but she is her normal self, just a bit sleepy. Today I need to do a lot of like odd jobs, odd bits and bobs. I've got some giveaway prizes to pack up. I need to send some invoices out for some stuff that I sold on Instagram. And I need to email a shop that I bought something from, which was faulty, and I need a replacement. So that's fun. That's today. <laughs> um, I'll let you know what I'm getting up to when I'm doing it. I'm gonna get the giveaway prizes packed up first. finished packing up giveaway prizes I just had my lunch I've put on a jumper a jacket this is not a jumper this is a jacket because it is freezing it was all sunny outside and then it started snowing I'm about to do the washi samples for my patreon boxes the washi tape that's going in this one's box are these ones there's a plain yellow one and then this one has like leaves or a vine on it which is quite nice so I thought they make a nice little pair so I'm gonna get on with them I'm gonna be watching a stream in the background that is my afternoon.
basically finished the washi tape samples now and I also did a couple of like printing thank you sheets and um, putting the video poll up on my Patreon so people can vote for what video they want. I'm currently eating some fruit pastels and <laughs> writing a blog post. The other week I launched a video hop with six other people in the creative community and we all put up journaling videos but I wanted to put a blog post together with all of them on and the photos because I just want it on the blog as well um, and some people are more likely to read a blog than they are to watch something so I thought I'd put that together so that's what I'm doing at the moment. I've pretty much caught up with myself, I just need to do the die cuts for my Patreon boxes and some art which I'm probably going to push the art back to do tomorrow because it is five o'clock right now and I don't want to be working super super late so yeah I think I'm going to do this blog post, edit the die cut sheets together so I have them ready to print and cut and then call it a day hopefully and I'm also going to finish this. I didn't share my one piece of mail that I got today, piece of happy mail, from the Sad Potato Club. I joined their Patreon in February and this is the second bit of mail I've got from them. I think I'm on the smaller happy mail tier which means you get like one or two vinyl stickers a month and a postcard. I just relate to the Sad Potato Club images and stuff and artwork that she does so much. Like I'm forever saying I feel like a potato, oh I'm just having a potato day and this kind of visualises it <laughs> for me. This is a postcard I got in February and then I got a little loyalty card and then that's the little second sticker that I got today. That was a postcard that came today. And then these guys up here are the stickers I got. This is a little sticker that had the... Oh, hello? Come here. Oh, what are you doing? Hi. All right. I got this one in February and then I got another one in March and I also got these ones as well. Um, this was the little bonus one they put in this month, which was really sweet. It's on a little sofa. So I kind of need to find a place to put these still. I'm doing that thing where I hoard them. <laughs> I'm also at the moment watching a stream um, and playing some Animal Crossing. So I think that's how I'm going to spend the rest of my evening. Good morning. It's Wednesday. I am really dizzy this morning and I don't know why everything just feels a bit swishy. <laughs> I'm not usually someone who gets dizzy unless my ear's playing up. But yeah, everything today, I don't know why, it just feels a bit wishy-washy. Um, I did have a bit of a migraine last night and I went to bed with the migraine. <laughs> um, I tend to put this like thing over my eyes to kind of, I don't know, it helps a bit having some sort of weighted thing on my eyes. Um, and usually when I wake up, it's gone. But today it's obviously decided to stick around. It's also really, really cold as well, which doesn't help because I do not do well with the cold. I'm struggling to find any motivation to do anything today. It is like midday almost and I have done basically nothing. <laughs> I did get a lot done yesterday so I'm not too worried but ideally I need to finish the Patreon work today and get them like sorted and ready so I can pack them next week. But yeah, so hopefully it will fade off during the day, we'll see. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut up these, which I printed off yesterday. They're the little thank you notes that go in with the uh, two Happy Mail tier packages. Oh, and I also need to paint some tags, which shouldn't take too long, but they just take a lot of desk space. And I can't do them at the same time as the die cutting, because that end of my desk, the Cricut machine like takes up the whole end of the desk. And that's where I leave the tags to dry, so. I either need to clear this desk, which is covered in stuff that needs to be posted, um, and put the tags over there, or just do them separately, I don't know. I've got to figure that out. I don't know why I'm so dizzy. It's not like horrendous, like I don't feel like I'm going to topple over, but it's just like, it's just like every now and again I get this like little wave of like, ooh, I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, that's my Wednesday. The sun has disappeared and I'm feeling mess. So... Gonna try and get stuff done today. I'm giving in to the cold. I am back in my bedroom. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my electric blanket on and try and warm up and edit from in here, and then just kind of go back and forward between here and the office to print things and cut things. 
I love living here for many reasons but I also hate it for many reasons as well and one of them is the fact that the heating is so old and obviously it's like a detached farmhouse so there's no insulation coming from either side it's literally like if it's cold it's cold we do have electric heaters which are upstairs but they don't warm like a whole room super quickly my bedroom though is the warmest room in the house so if i have any chance of warming up it's in here <laughs> that is my lunchtime alarm because if i don't have an alarm for my lunch i will work through <laughs> so i'm gonna go get some lunch and then i'm gonna start the editing and cutting and printing process of the die cuts My brain isn't there today. <laughs> um, I've edited this sheet of bees, so the big ones are the main ones. They're going to be um, like the larger die cut going in with the two Happy Mail bundles. And then I've just added some little bees in between because, you know, make the most of the space on the page. But I edited that together and then I've just started editing these welly boots, but I just can't get my brain to be in it and focused on it and I just I can't so I think what I'm gonna do is call it a day today because it's now 20 to 4 in my planner I've made Friday a odd jobs day um so I've not put anything specific on that so what I'll do is just switch today and Friday around so today will be my odd job slash free time day and I can rest and I can pick things up tomorrow and carry on. And knowing me I'll end up working Saturday and Sunday as well or part of the weekend so yeah I'm going to call it a day today. I'm going to play some games, have a nap, try and get my head more on the ball. <laughs> but yeah today's is not the one. I feel like this is gonna hurt. Oh, she likes them and Nancy loves them. Oh, okay. Then, ow. Okay, oh, a little bit. They're a bit jabby. This is one of her treat toys that I got her for Christmas. It's like a load of little fabric triangles in a big triangle. They have like little pockets to put treats in, and then you can just put them through the wash because they're washable. But yeah, she. I gave her this like two minutes ago. And she's already three triangles down. <laughs> I haven't been able to have much time outside with her. I went out just a minute ago and we played a bit of ball. But my head is like on a nope, a nope day today. Um, so I'm going to have a nap in a minute. So this is my attempt to try and get her brain going a bit and tire her out a bit. So maybe she'll let me nap properly without being too crazy. So... Today took another little, little, what do they call it? Curveball, U-turn, I, psh. Some of you might remember, about five years ago, almost, me and my brother rescued a budgie from up the farm. I'm pretty sure one of you guys suggested the name Safi, but she's called Safi, we called her Safi. She's basically been my brother's pet since. Um, he adores her, like, they talk all the time. If I go along there, she's like, Zip. a little earlier, I heard, a thump in her cage and a load of flapping and stuff and I went and checked on her and she could not climb back up to her perch or fly back up to her perch. I did put my hand in and tried to lift her up to her perch. She gave me a good old bite. <laughs> I've got a little, um, you see those two little red marks? They're from Safi. Um, that was her trying to 
basically tell me to pee off. <laughs> she didn't manage to stay on the perch, she did fall off again which was horrible. So I got a towel, popped a towel in the bottom so it didn't hurt her when she fell um, if she tried to climb up the bars again. And then after dinner I came upstairs to find that she had passed, um, which is horrible. I'm pretty sure I vlogged the day that we got her. I'll have to try and find that vlog. There's going to be some clips from the other day when this little bird, yeah, you, arrived or turned up or, yeah, I'll explain that a little bit later. So yesterday we somehow acquired a budgie. It was lost up the farm or I don't even know what it was doing up the farm, but it was up the farm and me and Toby went to go catch it. And now <laughs> we've been to town and got a load of budgie stuff. Um, at the moment it's in a mouse cage because that's all we have, that's like the best cage that we've got. Yeah, we've been trying to find the owner on Facebook and searching loads of lost pet sites and stuff. So far though there isn't anyone that's come forward or anything. This is the result of a Wilco's trip to grab as much stuff for as little money as we could because we don't know how long we're going to have it for. We've basically all become like budgie experts overnight. We've been googling so much to try and find out what it likes, what we need to get for it. We got a little mirror, little mirror thing with a bell on the bottom, the ladder with a bell on the bottom. I know, you're probably hungry. I'm going to get some of the actual bird food. It's going to be a lot quieter now. She was always in the background of my videos, squawking, when she heard me filming videos in my room. Um, she always joined in because she thought we were having a conversation. <sighs> so yeah, my brother was definitely closer with her, so I think he'll probably find it more upsetting. Um, I love that little bird, but obviously she wasn't like my little sidekick. I'm going to go get a shower, I'm going to play some Animal Crossing, <laughs> and just try and take the rest of the day, the day, it's the evening now, it's like seven, eight almost. Yeah, take the rest of the day to try and chill because tomorrow is gonna be busy. I have my order of printed stuff arriving. So I'll have art prints and stuff to sort out. Um, and obviously some of the things that I didn't get done today, I'm gonna have to get done tomorrow. Yeah, I will speak to you in the morning. Good morning, it is Thursday. I am feeling much more on the ball. <laughs> um, I really need to listen to my head more often. Yesterday was one of those days where I just felt, I don't know, like there was a wall in front of me when I was trying to do anything. I always try and push through it and then I hit another wall or I just, everything feels 10 times more difficult to do and I end up with a migraine or something at the end of the day. So yesterday I tried to push through and then thought no, <laughs> we're gonna just give in to it. Um, and have a day of not doing much, just like resting, played some games, watched some streams. And today I've woken up with motivation! <laughs> um, I want to get these die cuts done today. The annoying thing about today is I'm meant to have all my printed stuff arrive, so like all of the art prints, postcards, um, papers for April. They're all meant to arrive today, but I got a text saying that it's not going to arrive until like four or five o'clock. So it means I'll have work to do probably tomorrow. But today I'm going to focus on getting the rest of the little bits and pieces sorted for the boxes um, and some other things that I didn't get done yesterday. So yeah. I'm going to start with the die cut stuff. So I've got to print and cut all of the die cut packs and the larger die cuts that go in the packages. I'm wearing my pink top again because I don't go anywhere. <laughs> Whenever I put on clothes and I'm just working at home nothing gets dirty <laughs> like I don't I don't like go to town or go on public transport or I literally walk from my bedroom to my office so I feel like I only really wear two tops a week um yeah so we're pink again today <laughs> yesterday I got one sheet of die cuts edited which was the little bees I think I showed that um and I also edited these little boots as well, so I just need to duplicate that and make a whole page of them. But I'm going to start off by printing and cutting the bees, because I might as well do that whilst I'm editing um, and have it going on in the background. So it's going to be a noisy day today <laughs> of my printer and my Cricut going. Do -do 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 -do. I best get my Cricut and my printer awake <laughs> and set up. This is one of the most annoying things about this new laptop. If I can 
find the thing. That's my cricket waking up. Good morning, cricket. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Um, the annoying thing about this laptop, I've upgraded my laptop, I don't know if I even mentioned that. When I last was vlogging, I had loads of laptop troubles and issues, and I finally got a new one. But it's the new Mac with the weird ports, so it's not got any USB, it just has these two here. So I had to get a little adapter. Um, so now I have to have an adapter to plug any sort of USB in, which is a pain in the bum. The cardstock that I use for the die cuts that I make, um, I tried out a few different cardstocks, which was super tedious. I stick to Mac cards just because, you know, using it in journals and stuff, you can always draw on them or something. But I finally settled on one that I like. It's really, really smooth. Like, it's got such a smooth finish, which I love. And it's classed as professional colour printing, so it kind of works with the colours and makes them stand out and pop a bit more which is what I want. The one thing that is always a bit like not nerve-wracking necessarily but I don't get to see until I print it is the colours properly if that makes sense. So I edit in RGB which are colour codes that are for like screens and stuff but when you send stuff to printers or print stuff it uses CMYK which is slightly different so if I chose a specific green that I liked um, in RGB it will kind of transfer it to the nearest sort of thing in CMYK but it might be very different so yeah it's not not the best but I use GIMP which is a free editing software I've used it for years I cannot afford Photoshop or any of those Illustrator Adobe products right now so I'm working with what I've got which is fine and it works and does the job that I need it to do it's just when it comes to printing things might not come out exactly the colours I want. I can adjust it if I want to. Um, I think the only colours that I've really had issues with is red and green, like, or pinks, you know, like, those sort of colours kind of come out slightly different. They still look good, they're just not, you know, identical to the artwork. So I'm going to get these bees printed and hopefully they will be yellow and black with little blue wings. <laughs> if they suddenly turn out with purple wings, then we've got a problem. My printer lives over here. I really need to get better storage over here. So this is where I keep all the shop stock of postcards. We're running out of space already. Um, hopefully at some point I'll be able to get some shelves put up here. I think what I'm gonna have to do is sort some of these shelves out and maybe pack some stuff away that I don't use. Like I have a whole row of unused notebooks there, which eventually I might use but I don't need them there. If I got another shelf I could have a couple more shelves of stock which would be handy. The printer that I use is the Canon Pixma. Uh, I can't remember <laughs> what number. <laughs> I think it's IP something. It was such a faff getting this printer though. It was on offer at my local um, camera printer shop place and I ordered it and they were like yeah we don't have it in stock and I was like well that's great. Do you know when you'll have it in stock? And they were like we don't know. Like, so you've taken my money and you're not going to tell me. Great. And then eventually, I got a dispatch email and it arrived, like, a month and a bit later. Well, they're looking yellow, which is which is a positive. Oh, they're cute. They're <laughs> so cute. The little bees that are on here will go in this little pot full of other spare die cuts. And what I do with those is just add them into random orders from my shop um, as little freebies. So these ones will be literal freebies. <laughs> okay, I like a good pun. That was, um, um, yeah. So now I need to stick it to a mat and get it sliced. turned out perfectly um, 
I now have a load of big bees and little bees. I always do one sheet and print and cut it to make sure everything's fine with it before I print out multiples. So now I know that these are all okay, I can go and print off a load more. I send these big ones out to everyone who's in the Happy Mail tier, so on both the Happy Mail tiers. Each get one of these, so I need about 20 something. Um, and there's eight per sheet, so do some maths and I work out how many sheets I need to print. I'm going to do that now and get these bees going and then whilst these are printing and cutting I can edit together the rest of the sheets. So it's a bit of a production line kind of day to day. But I kind of like it because I can just put a stream on or some music or something in the background and just get on with it. Just had lunch and found out that we don't have any heating which is why i'm sat here in my jacket again with a microwavable thing <laughs> around my neck oh can't wait to live somewhere that's warm not like warm as in country warm as in house with heating that works um but yeah i've just had my lunch and i'm gonna go and walk bonnie and hopefully that'll warm me up a bit then when i get back i will carry on with the printing and cutting back from a little walk with Bonnie and I'm a lot warmer um, it was still really cold out there and I was wearing like hat coat wellies joggers the whole shebang I'm gonna carry on cutting printing and cutting um, I've got a stream playing in the background and that's gonna be my afternoon just doing that until the print order arrives so I will let you know how I get on
I've just had a little package arrive. Not the big one. <laughs> this is just one that I made from eBay. I ordered some craft packing tape because I ran out of um, plastic tape. And when I ran out of that, my brain was like, okay, we're going to transfer over to recyclable tape. I think it's a 100 meter roll or 50 meters. It was five pounds something anyway. Um, so it should last me. It was 50 meters for five pound nine pence. So not bad. It's definitely more expensive than um, plastic tape, but I want to try and transfer all my packaging over to being eco-friendly. There's a lot of cello bags that I currently use and currently have on like my A5 prints and stuff, which aren't biodegradable. Um, but I have just bought a load of biodegradable ones. I'm not going to repackage those. Those ones will be in non-recyclable or biodegradable bags which is a bit annoying but um yeah eventually i will be transferred over to eco packaging fun shop things Woo. <laughs> so my cricket machine decided to cut them all a little bit wonky on that last sheet um so i'm gonna have to calibrate it so i've printed off the little sheet to do that this is one of those things that i was really like it seemed daunting when I first got the machine. I was like, oh, I don't want to mess anything up. Um, but it's actually really simple. Sometimes this happens, especially when I'm cutting loads of stuff in a row, the cuts just get a little bit off, off the mark. So I do this every now and again to just set things straight again. So all it does, I'll show you. So I went on this little section on the design space to calibrate it, printed off the sheet, stuck it on the mat, and then I just have to load it into the machine and it does its little thing. It does what it does with a normal print and cut so obviously when I cut the die cuts they have like a black line around it um, so that's what it's doing now it's just like working out where everything is on the page by going to the little black lines around the edge. And once it's figured out where <laughs> the paper is it will do its little cutting thing. So it basically cuts this little black square in the middle and it's not too far off like it's you can't really tell in the camera too well. This top one and the bottom one are cut pretty much in the center of the black lines. The side ones, this side is really close to the inside of the square and on this side it's really close to the outside. It's kind of like cutting a bit that way. <laughs> does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? I'm gonna say yes it does because it is touching the line like it's not outside of the box. Now it's gonna <laughs> do the rest of the lines. So it cuts all these little lines around the edge and then you get to choose which ones basically are more on the point. So you see those ones are really off the mark and as it goes along it gets closer and closer to the black line. Now it's finished cutting all of those it's going to ask me which number and which letter are most accurate. I'm probably going to end up choosing 11 I think that's most central and then down this side K has the most accurate cut so I think I'm going to go with 11k. So I go back to here and choose 11 and k and say yes please that's what I want and now it does one more cut to make sure that everything's fine and then you just save it and it's done and it spits it out and goes there you are. It's a little bit of a pain to do but I feel like all machines are like that. It's just finished and that is how it's turned out. Let me peel off this bit and show you properly. It's so much more neat now and they're not off-centered at all. My mat is so dirty. I washed these like last month, like when I did last month's die cuts, I washed them afterwards and they were all clean. And now, <laughs> I think that's from when I do print and cut, I have the black line around the edge and I use the roller to flatten them on the mat and I think it just moves the ink off of the thing because I don't think that's finger marks or dirt marks. I think that's just ink. Because if it was dirt or fingers, it'd be out here as well. It's just around the edge of the A4 sheets. <laughs> Just finished my dinner i'm kind of working late tonight my parcel didn't arrive it's got delivered up the farm so i need to now go on a mission 
in the dark to find my parcel with almost 200 pounds worth of stuff in it so yeah not ideal but hey ho i'm gonna go on a mission before it gets damp and cold out there try and save slash rescue my order love living on my farm <laughs> open this on the floor because <laughs> both my desks are covered in stuff. I did manage to find the package though eventually it was inside the barn not outside the barn. But it's here. This is the bit that always terrifies me because I don't know how how well <laughs> they're gonna come out. So far they look okay. This is what I'm seeing right now. Someone's trying to get in on the action. She loves a good box opening. I like these. The colours have come out so perfect as well. In comparison to my printer, they've come out very slightly lighter. So this is the B postcard. And then there's my B from my printer. So the yellow is very slightly different. But I'm not too worried because they're still yellow. I'm still happy with them. This postcard I love. This is one of the Patreon ones. It's like a little umbrella with the raindrops. This one is so nice. This is the daisy print one. So it's a landscape postcard. So far so good. I'm still terrified though because I'm still convinced there's going to be one that I just don't like. <laughs> These are looking so nice. It's like a set of postcards go. I'm very happy. I'll show these properly <laughs> a bit later. Probably tomorrow actually. Um, because obviously now it is like 8 o'clock. I'm not going to be going through these and sorting them today. This will be a tomorrow job. I'm gonna finish up with the die cuts this evening and then I'm gonna get ready for bed and be chill. The art prints, oh, they're nice. That's, that's, I can't remember what finish I chose. I think it was silk. They're kind of a bit shiny. They've got a really nice sheen on the front of them. I'm really happy with those. The ones I got before, I wasn't too happy with. They were fine. They printed fine, the colours came out fine. I think I found my new favourite. New favourite finish. I'm very chuffed with those. The last thing is paper, which I'm scared for. I can't remember what finish I chose for those. I think I tried to choose a matte finish for the papers. The papers, I imagine people are going to rip up and stick into their journals and stuff. So having them matte really helps. Oh, they look good. The colours look nice. These are the papers for the top tier patrons. That's a really nice finish. I think I just got uncoated, so they're nice. So they're a nice matte. So these I will cut in half. They're two A5 papers. Um, I design it on an A4 because it saves a bit of money at the printers to just print 50 A4 sheets than 100 A5 sheets. I do eventually want to bring out some paper packs on my shop. I just don't really know on sizing preferences and like numbers, prices, all of that sort of thing. So I really need to look into that and do a bit of research. I'm glad that I've got back into the studio vlog so I can record this process for me um, to look back on, hopefully. Sat here on my tiny office floor, surrounded by postcards and the remains of die cutting. I'm very happy with this. I can't wait to send it out to people and see it be used in journals and stuff. I wasn't going to vlog tomorrow but I think I am now just a bit because I know I'm going to be doing these jobs and I want to film that um, because it's all part of part of the process. So I will see you tomorrow in the morning. <gasps> <laughs> have a shredded box in a minute aren't I? It's Friday and I am looking forward to doing work today. <laughs> so I came into my office this morning and this is how I left it last night. I did tidy it a little bit um, but this view, obviously I spent hours and hours designing and creating all of these things and to see them here like finished, finished things, it's just really really satisfying. So I've got all of the postcards which obviously need to sort through um, and split the Patreon ones from the shop ones. Got the papers, the art prints, the die cuts. I got all of these ones cut for Patreon. So these ones are going in the Patreon um, packs. So I need to pop them in the little envelopes today. And then these ones I need to finish printing and cutting. I got one of each cut for the pack so I could kind of lay it out and see it. 
So these are the images that will go in the die cut pack and then I just need to print and cut the phrase die cuts that I want to put in this pack. This is the pack that's going to be available like permanently on the shop. These ones are only going to be available to patrons so they get three of each in a pack, they get 12 all together. And then this is going to be three of each, but there's five designs, so you get 15. So altogether, there is nine small designs, and then patrons also get one large die cut. So as far as the set goes, this is kind of the set of die cuts. So if patrons want to buy the add-on, they can do, they get 10% off. Yeah, so that is how they turned out. I'm really, really happy with them. I love the colours. I just need to sort it all out, organise it. Um, I obviously need to photograph the die cut pack and the postcard packs. I did get these arrive in the post today as well, which are the biodegradable cello bags. I get them from Cello Express. These are the ones for the postcards and then these ones are for the die cuts. I'm going to package the die cuts for the shop in these little envelopes like I do for Patreon. But these, I kind of want them to be more like shop packaging. So I'm going to package them into cello bags and probably get a sticker or something to put on the front. So that is what I'm going to get on with today. I do have some other jobs that I've not done already. I've not been too stressed about that because I can always do that at the weekend. This stuff I kind of want to get done and prepped before next week and not be stressing about it. <clears throat> so, yeah. Where's my voice gone? <laughs> So yeah, that's been my top priority this week. I'm gonna get on with it and sort it, and I also need to sort this table as well, because it's just, there's like half packaged up things, some things have addresses, some things don't. Some of it I need to store somewhere until I'm posting, some of it I need to get out to the post. It just needs a bit of sorting, a bit of sorting needs to be done. up 50 of the like multi-pack with each of the postcards in. I want to put a poll up at some point on uh, Instagram or possibly even Patreon um, asking if people would want them as like separate packs so like a pack of five of the same design. So I've not packaged them all up yet because I might want to trial that. I know I posted it before and it was a really mixed response. A lot of people said both but now I have the actual designs I feel like you know it's a bit different because some people might want five of this design but not five of this design or something so yeah <laughs> um so i've packaged all those 50 of them are mixed 50 of each are still loose and then i've got the spare little cello bags there i've realized i can't do the a5 prints today because the cello bags haven't arrived the biodegradable ones i thought i had some of the other ones left over but I don't. <laughs> so I've ordered them today, they should arrive next week, so I'll probably be packing the boxes later next week rather than earlier in the week. I'm going to cut the papers and package the die cuts next, and the postcards I just take the amount I need and pop them in here. That needs to go back with my Cricut. And then here I've got a little checklist of all the rest of the things I need to add um, and make and put together. So I'll basically just be getting through that today. glasses on because I've got a headache and I probably should have been wearing them when I was doing the stuff before <sighs> but I didn't so now I'm getting like achy eyes achy head also got my jacket back on because even though my dad managed to sort the heating out this room is still so cold I am gonna sort the die cuts out so I have this little tub which looks very confusing but each section has a different die cut in so I just need to organise them into little piles and then put them in the little envelopes that I got.
to design some stickers for the packaging, for the postcards and the die cuts for the shop and I was going to get them sent off to be printed and then sent to me but I'm starting to think I might design them and print them here because I have a load of sticker paper that I bought because I was like experimenting with sticker paper we're not quite there yet for stickers but I have loads of sticker paper that I don't want to use for like sticker stickers like shop stickers um but it's good enough for packaging so I use it for the little circle stickers on these die cut packs so I'm going to do that and try and design some stickers to go on the postcard packs I'm going to design those and print them off and stick them here it will save me a bit of money because I don't have to buy a certain amount of a certain design from the printers and I won't have to wait for it either um, and I have a sticker paper to use so I might as well use it so I'm going to do that now I'm going to design some stuff and see if I can figure it out this is the little label that I have put together um, I've printed it off and drawn like hand drawn um, a border on it because it's not going to be yellow I'm going to have it as white but I wanted to make a black border like a hand drawn black border around the edge of it so now I've drawn this on here I can scan it in and then just take the black border and hopefully it will be the right sort of size to lay over this and then I can get rid of the yellow and make a cut line instead of this really straight border that it has because I prefer things looking a bit wonky and a bit DIY doodled by me. <laughs> change of plan. I went downstairs to ask my mum what she thought. I was like in the middle, up the top, down the bottom, in the middle, up the top, down the bottom and then I was like oh, hang on a minute. It kind of looked cute if I did it like folded round. But, like the little tab was folded around the side and I had the information like this information on the front and on the back I could put a little a little secret quote or something, a little secret message on the back. So I am gonna redesign it. We're, we're, we're going through a process but we're getting there. <laughs> okay, I managed to do it. I figured it out. It did take a couple of goes because I printed this sheet but it was a bit too small. Where it says postcard pack um, and times five designs, it was just a bit too small. So I made it a little bit bigger and all of the text a little bit bigger. So it's been a bit of a process going through all the different design steps but I am finally happy with the little stickers. It has what it is on the front. And then on the back it has a little quote. Now all I need to do is save on the Cricut Design Space this design and I can print as many and cut as many as I need. I think I'm going to finish work now. <laughs> My eyes are just not enjoying it. So I'm going to tidy everything up um, and continue this next week. I am very happy that I got all the packaging and stuff sorted for the postcards. They are done. I just need to package them. I now need to just sort out the die cut packaging which I want to do a similar way. I'll have a play around with that next week. I'm going to finish the vlog here. I am going to go and chill. I might have a nap because my eyes are just not not happy. I hope you've enjoyed this very busy week of packing, unpacking little production line stuff. As always if you have any questions then let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and of course if you're a patron then your name will be on the screen now. Thank you all so much for the extra support over there. I'll be packing up a lot of your boxes next week so I'll be sure to vlog it. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video.